What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about an easy way to add hatching to your SketchUp and layout designs. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I have no clue how I didn't know this was a thing until today, but it's a huge time saver. So let's talk a little bit about how we might set up a view for sending over to layout, right? So what we might do is we might take a view like this one and we might take a section cut across the view like this in order to get kind of a top-down plan view that we would then send to layout, right? So say that we were to save this, send it to layout, we'll throw it on an A3 right here. Now, one of the things that you might have done in the past is go through and model out a shape on top of this. So draw on top of it directly in layout because within the fills in layout, right, we have a tool for adding a pattern. And so when you add a pattern, you can use this in order to set the stroke of the line, right? So we could set the line stroke to like three, and then you could add this pattern right here. But the problem is, A, you have to like manually draw on top of this, right? Which is not ideal in any way. So that's part one. Part two is if you were to ever make a change to your model, this isn't going to show up very well. Luckily, there's actually a setting inside of SketchUp itself, which is going to make this a lot easier. So let's jump back over into SketchUp. And one of the things I didn't know about is I knew that if you went into your tags function, there's an option to color by tag. So if you go into tags, click right here, it might look a little bit different on a Mac, but basically everything is going to get colored by its own tag, right? And so we'll add a different color to our walls, but it just kind of arbitrarily adds that color. So for example, if I was to adjust the floor color, right, it's just coloring it by a color right here. What I didn't realize is you can actually go into these color by tag settings and you can set them up so that they use a texture image. So if you use a texture image, that means that you can apply a custom secondary image to anything that's on a tag directly inside of SketchUp. Meaning, let's say for example, that I wanted to add a hatch to this floor. And so one of the tools that I use for this is architectures. And so what we can do, and the reason I'm doing this in a web browser is because I want to download this as an image, right? But we can set things like our pattern. So say we want like a staggered pattern right here. I'm going to set my material to just be a solid fill and I just want it to be white, but then I can also go down and adjust the edges so that they're fine rather than um, rough. And I can also adjust the color of the edges or the mortar, right? So I'm just going to come in here and adjust the mortar to something super dark like this. Well, now you have an image that looks a lot like a CAD hatch. And actually, if you have the paid version of this, you can download this as an AutoCAD or a Revit CAD hatch. We just want to download it as a texture for right now. Um, but we could adjust things like, for example, I might want these to be 16 inches long and I might only want them to be like three inches high something like this to simulate more of a floor. But I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a texture image. So I'm just gonna download it and bring it in. Well, when we do that and we set our floor, we can, we can check the box for use texture image. I'm gonna pick this image and click on open. Well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring this image in and apply it as a texture whenever you have color by tag selected. And then you can adjust this up right? So in this case, for example, this says that it's 64.8 by 19.2. So let's just type in 64.8 right here. That's going to get you pretty close. And you can click on OK. This is now applying a texture to this surface, really anything that has the floors tag associated with it. And so you could use this in order to add hatches to basically everything that you have. So let's say we wanted to do this with a wall. So I'm going to hop back in architectures. And in this case, I want something that's just like a regular stack, right? Ooh, and so there's some fun stuff we could do with this, um, with like landscapes and that kind of thing. But for right now, let's just pick the regular stack right here. And I just want to take this stack and I want these to be, because right now they're super wide, but in this case, I want this to be maybe like two inches by two inches, something like that. And then we're going to adjust the thickness of this mortar joint to something small like this. So it's not very thick. 
and then I'm just gonna set this to be a square pattern. So just four by four right here. And I'm gonna save that as a texture and I'm gonna download it. And we can play around with this in order to get different results. But in this case, for my walls, I wanna apply this texture image right here, right? And so we can use this in order to apply hatches to different things. And in this case, I could make this bigger or smaller, right? I could set it to be a very small hatch like this, or I could set it to be a much thicker hatch. And you could also colorize it a little bit. So if you check the box for colorize right here, and then you click and drag this, we could make it like a gray color or something like that. So, and a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll just take it to a white like this, and then I'll go to my color wheel and I'll bring it down to get kind of a gray. But see how you can use this in order to set this hatch material? And you could do things like upping the thickness of the edges and stuff to make them show up a little bit better. But then these other things, you could either just set them to have a color of just white like this, or you could do other colors as well, or you could create separate scenes. Right, so say for example, you just wanted your wall to have hatching, what you could do is you could create, and I'm gonna save this as a new style, but I'm gonna create a scene right here that's gonna have everything but my walls toggled off. So you could hatch your walls and then bring in everything else regularly colored. So I'm gonna update this right here. I'm gonna add a scene. I'm gonna toggle on everything but my walls. And for this scene, I want this, whoops. For this scene, I want just like a regular style, right? So say shaded with textures or something like that. So we're gonna update this scene right here, but then we could stack them together over in layout. You'd probably need your windows to be a separate scene too, just because those are going to need to sit on top of everything else like this. So we would just call this windows, we would call this floor, we would call this walls. And I'm just gonna save it, hop over into layout right here. And we'll go ahead and we'll update that model reference so that we get those changes in here. But we could go ahead and we could create a layer for floor, we could create a layer for walls, we could create a layer for windows like this. And then you're gonna want a viewport for each one of these, right? So your first scene, you want it to be your floor right here, and you want that to be on your floor layer. So move to layer floor right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna lock this layer so I can't accidentally move it. And then I'm going to do an edit, paste to current layer, which is going to paste another viewport right here. Well, this viewport, I want to show my walls right here, right? Then I'm gonna copy it again. I'll lock this layer and then I'll paste a layer with my windows right here. And for this viewport, I want this to go on my windows layer. So I want this to be my windows scene. Oh, I need to hop back in SketchUp real quick. update this. We need to update our model reference. There we go. So then we can toggle all of these on. And so what we're able to do is we're able to set up this hatching within SketchUp itself rather than having to trace over top of it inside of layout. And then for this one, like we could set our walls. So I'm going to lock this. I'm going to unlock this. And I want my walls to be maybe a raster or a I want my walls to be a hybrid image. So I get those really nice lines in here like this, but then the others can be a raster image for performance, unless you need these to be vector for some reason. But you can see how you can set up that hatching over inside of SketchUp and then bring it into layout. So now if you make a change to your walls or something like that, and we can go ahead and do that real quick. So if we make a change to our walls, so let's say for example, we can go to a working view in order to do this, but let's say 
that we had a wall right here, right? Notice how because we're in this color by tag mode, it's overriding everything that we had in here with these hatches. So then if we were to do a save, right? Remember that we adjusted our wall right here. Well, that means that if we do a right click update model reference, after we've saved that, that new wall is going to show up and it's still going to have that hatching associated with it. So this is actually a massive time saver and it literally gives you the ability to create a view where you can toggle between a hatched version and a non-hatched version just like this. All right, so maybe all of you guys knew about this and I just didn't, but this is a massive time saver. I did not realize you could apply texture images to the color by tag. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you've been using this. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.